Well, hello again. It's time for another Peace Talk. I wonder if this past week or over these past several weeks, you have at any point said, I just can't do this. Uh, I can't do this financially. I can't do this physically. I can't, uh, I can't teach um, my kids at home. I can't take my kids being at home. I can't take not being able to be with the people I want to be with. We have a tendency to say, I can't. Well, my encouragement to you today is that Jesus Christ has promised us that we can. The Apostle Paul wrote in Philippians chapter 4, as we continue to look at this really special chapter of Scripture regarding the peace that it gives us, he said in verse 13, I can do all things through him, through Christ, who strengthens me. The Apostle Paul knew that his strength to do anything that was put in front of him, anything that was required of him, anything that he had to do, that strength was going to come through his Lord Jesus Christ. I want to also read a verse that comes just a few verses later. Verse 19 says this, because many of you have asked the question about provision. How is God going to provide our needs in this? And Paul said, the same God who through Christ will help us do all things. He says, and my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches in glory in Christ Jesus. You see, our promise in Scripture because of the Lord Jesus Christ is not just that our eternity is secure forever and always, although that is a great promise. And in difficult times, it matters so much to know that Jesus Christ is our Lord and our King and the one through whom we find salvation. It also matters to you today. You should be encouraged. You should find some peace in knowing that there's a promise that, one, you can do this. Whatever your this is, you can do it today and tomorrow and the day after that. But secondly, our Lord Jesus Christ, our God, through Jesus, will provide all of our needs. Today we can be at peace because in Christ we can do all things. Remember that. Peace.